what they do first mate watch it here back with a borderlands video so i get borderlands fever after making it and seeing the borderlands movie and i hear that gearbox did this to the movie but we gotta move forward right and we gotta help gearbox move forward as well gearbox please y'all try and do better next time y'all will do better next time but this is just um item and gears and change some changes for borderlands 4 just little things that i know the community probably will enjoy and i know i will enjoy for sure me <laughs> all these gears i'm about to talk about should be end game and only end game gears um so if borderlands is struggle one place that's at the end of it like um story we all know that borderlands is so for the hardest at the end of it at the end of its story and there's not much we could do about that that's a gearbox problem gearbox y'all need to implement something for keep us longer especially y'all need to make the story better especially so i just get a few gears and stuff that might might do this so remember in borderlands one there was this manufacturing class mod manufacturer made tailor made class mod that you could get from Chromorax, the legendary beast Chromorax, the Leds beast Chromorax. Aye, aye, aye. So, this is something like that, but mm, just a small little concept. It might even be that good. I gonna call it for now a grass mod. It's the combination between two class mods. Remember in Borderlands 3, they introduced this new thing that class mod get his flare. Well, it always was there, but in Borderlands 3, for sure, they make class mod do special things a little bit more special than the rest. Like, imagine the ability of most class mod. Like, she sap a class mod and she flare class mod by themselves the sapper sucks but the flare real decent but you could say the sapper and well i wouldn't say the sapper sucks it just needed a little bit more help so now imagine at the end game we find class mod that roll two sets of skill three in one well like two sets of special things about class mod in one like like i said most sapper and she flare in one but these class mods can't just be you no know, easy thing to find like a borderland she had everything easy 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 bro any gun you wanted in that game i promise you it's not gonna take you more than an hour for getting I could promise that whether it be by special um by we would say farmable enemy or not borderland tree it didn't take you that long for finding nothing so that really just be down the whole thing of that game so this one so we get the um flare let me say the grass mod, don't mean call it flare. Let me say the grass mod, let me get the grass mod a high, well, a very low chance. Like we, we talking about a 0.1% chance for finding from one, from a de dedicated source. Should, should it be dedicated though? Yeah, dedicated source. Like a tubby or a chubby or one of them special enemy there. It don't just make this class mod or grass mod easily find. Or what you could do is implement a new machine that could grass mods together. Like, but that would be lame because everybody could get access to it. The whole community. You know what's one good thing about borderlands that most people don't know if i see like usually you see creators with them you know they probably use cheats and things for get these guns so early or maybe they're just farm and stuff but usually when i see creator with a gun and then they say where you could get it from i's gone looking for it of course i gone looking for it because i need a gun as well so imagine you see a creator or somebody with a grass mod and you gone looking for that you would go you would search for that you would search the whole of borderlands for it. you know it's one of the things that kept me playing borderlands until this day i never find a 94 shield 94 sham shield not in borderlands 2 but in borderlands pre-sequel i find a 94 sham at level 20 and that was uh, that was not good but until today i farming for a 94 sham and i ain't getting my no luck with it so that's a real grass mod gonna be and just make them even a little bit more like special you know you put a little more flair into them you yeah, mean no way i'm gonna do gearbox but it's just a concept of a special class mod i guess some more but i ain't gonna speak about the rest now skill based guns like i know i know <laughs> y'all play the, is what what the game name defiance or something like that they had some i'm a mechanic like this what skill based gun gonna be do, though it gonna be for special guns like rare like the rarity gun like let me say a pearl a pearl lesson y'all don't know pearl lessons be lamey 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 okay you make up you make more well, let me say you make seven pearl lesson gun all seven of these pearl lessons weapon and gears that you make we say the tailor made not just tailor made they just get one special ability for a vault hunter based on the vault hunter you're playing with that's where you're gonna most likely roll or you might got to you know farm for one day you would need just imagine it you get class mod with like the capstone tree you get class mod with one capstone i mean when you get class mod with a capstone it is be good it'd be real great now imagine you find a gun with a capstone wow and you get class mod you see this is just a little bit more 
flair to the game for keep you more feisty up and in fire and fighting you know in game with borderlands should be great it shouldn't be no lamey lamey something but it does always end up being lamey lamey because you all don't implement no good thing for man by the time you reach the end game of borderlands you don't want to play no more you just want to wait for dlc you know nah not this trip and oh and roll out all of the skill level gearbox yeah make you reach max level from the exception of borderlands and then when you start introducing dlc we gonna be able for like go straight and collect all the gears and guns one time and we ain't gotta do it two and three times like borderlands disastrously did it yeah i remember farming for guns and folding up the vault and then when the level raised doing that same thing again when the level raised again i have to do it all over again and that was not nice all right since we're talking about borderlands 4 and we right now dealing with elpis because i know elpis is gonna be a place for the artifacts the artifacts that we just receive in borderlands why we don't change them a little bit just a little bit now gearbox just change them a little bit here, here we're gonna do instead of making them gun and skill tree and all of them make the artifacts them affect the player in a different way like <laughs> this is just theoretical i don't know yeah could this half well you see how borderlands pre-sequel was low gravity and you could jump and all these things and then when you replay borderlands 3 the only low gravity stage you had was moon well okay we're we talking about some game changing features now imagine changing the artifact from what it is like making a slide and move faster and thing just by a little bit instead you're giving them no kind of special ability the special ability gonna be like like the same thing movement speed gonna be increased like 20 percent we say that but it gonna get changing for the world of pandora like something special like equipping wonders give you no fall damage bring back fall damage by the way let's give you no fall damage or equipping one gonna make you do um moon base gravity basically you're gonna be low gravity mode because that's nice that's real nice especially when you could low gravity and rocket jump at the same time that's be sweet or you, you give it a heavy gravity where you can't jump you, 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 you're moving you know just just environmental changes to make it be like a make it be just a little bit more challenging does all so you can when you're playing through it you can enjoy yourself more just, or introduce it in a system like the guardian rank remember the guardian rank the guardian perks them was it was mm, underwhelming and overwhelming at the same time make it something like that or you could just put it on the artifacts then either or okay um yes talking gun the gearbox dear gearbox make the talking guns them just a little better you know make the same funny stuff and cool stuff don't make them just be and talking weirdy 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 like oh yeah i got them they, they could they could sound complex now and give a different variety of talking guns like talking iridian guns so we could hear them iridian i know we are gonna bring back iridian gear there's a next video i'm gonna do by itself gears that should come back like weapons and stuff improve the talking guns gearbox they get enough ai and thing that you could <laughs> make the song way better than how they usually the song Crouch mechanics should be changed and make a little important like crouching should gain more accuracy at least or more stability or something or not just so uh, ground slam and them lame things so crouch should be essential changes to characters like doing leveling or skill or um in 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 game skills so remember in borderlands pre sequel in will uh, when in when one of them three for wilhelm because he eventually and essentially became becomes a cyborg and you just see the changes like first he just replaced his hand then he just replaced i think is yeah he's replaced his hand then he's replaced his heart and then he's replaced his legs then he can run make changes like that in borderlands 3 there was a little changes but it wasn't that, that astronomical and it was just one set was the flag Set. the other one was tomorrow during leveling every level she used to gain a different tattoo on the opposite side of her body which eventually became amara having two sets of tattoo on both sides of her body i was sick then i don't know what well, happened with then but most the only thing changed about most was iron bear and you didn't notice it but iron bear this guy a scar that's all that is all that is it Iron Beard is eventually get a scar somewhere on the on the on the face, I think, or is on one of them arm or something. But you just see a arm, um, uh, like something real hard slap Iron Beard. That was probably was after the destroyer fight. You can't really tell you where, she, where the arm um, thing has come from. So. Oh, and Iron Bear also changes when you change the part of the guns. I mean, that was nice too, but it wasn't on Moe's itself. It should have been on Moe. Like, Moe should have guessed, like, you should have seen bullet wound. Or maybe Moe's after level 12, Moe's wrap up your leg or your hair or something. Man, you should have do that. That was nice. Not just them lame preset cosmetic that y'all just want to give, man. And call that change the skin. That's nice, but still lame. Oh, lastly, I think we should make Kalatra the face of Borderlands. He is, but he isn't. And he is, but he isn't. But 
Apple Trip should be the face of Borderlands. Also, one last thing for the DLC for Borderlands 4. Give us one of them moments that we didn't get to see throughout the Borderlands game gear back. Like Kefal or Hyperion. Hyperion or Vala Firestone. Either or. Or just find a way for you. Tell us more about the Fall Hyperion, man. I wanted to know how they shoot a moon based down because that beast was big. And even though that beast was big and it came down on the map for Pandora, you never saw no sign of it. Like we parted fell. You never saw it. but only in the droughts. In the droughts you saw the the, 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 the Hyperion shape, but that wasn't enough gearbox. We all know it and don't tell me I wrong. Anyway, that brings me to the end of this video. It was kinda all over the place, but hopefully it did like something. Thank you all. If you do like something, leave a like or stick around by subscribing. See you there people. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you.